Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to a session on SOLIDWORKS in 21 days. We are on day 21, the final day. Uh, being the final day today, I want to uh, combine and integrate all the three sessions that I am doing parallelly, the SOLIDWORKS, the PLC Programmable Logic Controller, Arduino, and of course, the 3D printing. Uh, in today's session, I want to integrate all these four elements in a single session actually. Okay, so we are on day 21. So I just want to integrate uh, SOLIDWORKS, Programmable Logic Controller, Arduino and of course the 3D printing. Now for this, uh, for information, I am in a, we are in a process of uh, developing a prototype of two dispensers a pani puri pani dispenser one is with uh, three different pani the other one three station pani puri pani dispenser with these two as examples i tell you how to develop this prototype how i made use of the solidworks the plc the arduino and 3d printing all four elements put together in a single project let me show you the assembly of uh, the second one a three station a three station pani puri pani dispenser this is the model this is the model so behind it the door will be there i'll show you the real images right so uh, there is a container in that the pani uh, the pani puri pani will be poured and stored here so this particular uh, three station model is uh, working on the arduino board so these are the three stations actually at a time three members can stand in three different uh, direction and uh, they can uh, each and uh, each uh, customer will be given uh, uh, with uh, maybe five or six uh, puris stuffed with uh, the necessary th elements like uh, uh, onion, alu, or any other masala. Okay, uh, maybe in a plate of uh, five or six. Okay, so all like that. There are th three customers can stand. So customer one will maybe using this one, this uh, uh, terminal the customer 2 will be using this terminal the customer 3 will be using this terminal okay so the for this particular product or the prototype so this is the solid works part this is the solid works part okay so i modeled this one in solid works for that i will show you the images in stages that i made Uh, this is the this is the uh, Arduino board the re back side of the Arduino actually let me see the show you the front view in the front view in the back side there there is a relay relays there are many relays to control uh, the different uh, uh, motors and uh, the LEDs so you see i used uh, three arduinos actually because uh, there are three persons you know so i i don't i want uh, all the three to be independent not uh, a kind in a single arduino board so i can coin all the three stations in a single arduino board that is also possible but the why i made uh, like this you know uh, if anything uh, goes wrong abnormally in one station then that will affect the other two so that should not happen so that is why I used the three uh, Arduino boards actually. So this is the these are the Arduino boards and uh, these are the relays, power supply, and the rear view. The rear view you, you, will, you can see uh, the other uh, some more relays to control all those things, to control all the LEDs and other things, right? And uh, this is the program that I used actually. This is the program I used. So the total number of lines are uh, roughly uh, 119 lines uh, it has actually, right? 
uh, upon request i am ready to give those things uh, to whoever is uh, to the persons who are uh, making a special request to me uh, again uh, since it is a highly integrated one uh, only if you have a model and uh, uh, plc and uh, arduino of course plc is a separate thing and uh, arduino is a, uh, a separate one for this particular second type the three station pani puri what i am showing you now for this i used arduino for the first one the pani puri pani dispenser with three different pani no for that i used plc okay so this for this i used uh, uh, arduino so this is the this is the program this is the program let us see the images first so will i will show you in stages first uh, i made a shell uh then uh, uh painted then the necessary stickers uh, we put already okay so it is still uh, in the making so we added uh, slowly we added more and more parts over it then uh, it is near completion now okay so the there is a door is already put so the container is there so pani should be stored in the container so that is the thing okay so now if you see that uh, these are the three stations the setup of uh, these three stations uh, will be one and the same so you are seeing the front view in the left side there is one station one this is station two and this is station three so at a time three customers can independently uh, use the the wedding setup now if i let me zoom it actually so uh, on top of it if you see that uh, uh, there is a ring type shape uh, uh the customer can uh, the consumer can uh, keep the plate uh, that has uh, five or six uh, puris you know so th they can keep the uh, tray over this particular uh, seat okay. this is the seat for the plate these are all uh, made uh, uh, using the 3d printing technology of course right uh, even uh, some more parts were there so even if you see a small ring type shape uh, I, I i did it in the 3d printing only then there is a small uh, uh, this member so this will be a, a, a jig or a fixture for the collection tank uh, right suppose uh, if, if anything is leaking or excess uh, flow happens so those will be collected in the collection tray actually now there are three leds will be glowing one led for the ready the other led for the dispensing the third led is for the uh, move hand i'll tell you the logic the ready led will be uh, maybe green in color uh, the dispensing orange in color move hand red in color and i want about that there is a manual switch okay then this is the pipe outlet so so pani puri uh, unfortunately let me tell you one more thing uh, since we are on lockdown so i am not able to procure uh, the uh, puris actually so instead i used uh, one uh, the uh, uh, thermo forming cups okay uh, small cups only i used and i used plain water for, okay instead of a real pani but uh, the working principle wise everything is uh, one and the same so uh, it will be a real machine actually uh, uh, the the real pani with all the necessary ingredients uh, Uh, you can add you can keep it in the uh, in the container in this container right then uh, this will be fully functional but still it has some minor uh, issues St still it, it is under development minor issues like uh, metering or quantifying the uh, quantity of uh, the pani to be dispensed those things to be metered uh, sometime uh, the sensors are not uh, properly working again it uh, if i fine tune all these it will work perfectly right so the logic uh, the logic is upon powering on the ready green led button uh, led will be glowing there then you uh, the stuffed puri you keep it uh, nearer to the the outlet tube the steel tube stainless steel tube then it, you uh, as if if you move your um, Uh, hand and uh, you, you you have a, a puri you no know, in hand so if you keep the puri here then it will be sensed But there is a sensor uh, uh, 
the photo sensor I used actually photo photo sensor uh, proximity sensor I used so that will be that, that detects uh, your uh, insertion of uh, the puri okay at the tip of this particular tube so once uh, it is sensed then it after 0.5 second it starts dispensing it starts dispensing dispensing the pani again I repeat here I used plain water but actually you can use the real pani as required as required for the pani poi then the dispensing uh, it starts dispensing uh, the required amount of after the required amount of uh, pani is dispensed then uh, the move hand red LED will glow because you are you are you are uh, actually keeping the puri and your hand uh, at this particular place you know so after that uh, the display should be stopped for the next operation or the next cycle only if you move out uh, move, if you move away your hand then only this will be ready for the next cycle and the uh, the red move hand LED will be off and the ready LED will be on if the ready LED, LED is on then only uh, it is the it is the signal that it is ready for the next cycle or next dispensing so that is the logic the next one is I kept one uh, button manual switch button actually uh, this is uh, uh, will, will work on three different ways number one initially uh, there, 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 there is uh, the cert certain amount of air is contained at the beginning or in the morning so that should be primed for that if you press the the air will be air lock will be released and uh, you will get the pony that is the number one number two suppose say it dispensed you know if you feel uh, that uh, quantity of uh, pony dispensed is not enough if you press this button you'll get more you'll get more pony so that is a man that is why i can in that way i can call it as a manual override number two number three uh, end of the day after uh, you, you can use this as a draining for cleaning okay you have to drain everything you know at the end of the day end of the business uh, at the night you have to clean all those things so for that first you drain then uh, in the in the uh, container you you can uh, pour uh, plain water or some uh, soap water also maybe so with that you can clean or you can drain right so but plain water is sufficient okay so put a plain water and uh, uh, they drain the plain water fully so everything gets cleaned so for this for those three purposes i add manual switch so all these the setup will be there even for the left side and the right side uh, station okay let us go quickly so that's it now you see now you see i i kept the uh, uh, the leakage container so if there is any leakage or excess pani overflow uh, any either overflow or leakage excess flow may happen or uh, uh, accidentally you see I think that you can see the tip of the sensor now accidentally it may detect a uh, unwanted signal so at that time also it will dispense so those things should be collected here then it can be easily removed it is a uh, having a it is having a magnet actually so it just uh, there is it, it acts as a magnetic catch it can be easily inserted it can be easily removed okay so so the any excess or any leakage it will be collected here uh, it, it acts as a collection tray so that can be uh, poured out uh, safely so let there is a the collection uh, tray now let me show you the now you see the magnetic uh, i put magnet so it will be easily locked it can be easily locked and removed then uh, we see in the next video uh, we see so I take a empty cup now so start dispensing you see the liquid now okay this can be metered as I said earlier still it is in the development stage some fine tuning is required the second station you can assume it is a customer number two second customer right and the third customer
at a time all the three persons can uh, use the those three terminals actually right i will show you uh, using my using my both the hands uh, so i will be using the two terminals at a time two terminals at a time see that so this is how uh, this is how uh, we developed uh, this prototype it is a commercial prototype actually uh, whoever is interested uh, you can approach me uh, actually i don't want to uh, stop uh, the solid wax or the plc or even the arduino or 3d printing and all only for the academic purpose the main objective my uh, my main objective is to develop some product Uh, it should give rise uh, some value at least uh, some employment actually right let me close it so this is the program okay so since uh, i i spent nearly one month uh, for the past one month i am after uh, my college hours uh, in the evenings uh, i have a small garage uh, i'll be spending at least 2 uh, to 3 hours every day uh, in the evening so i will be doing all these things okay let me close this one let me close this one okay so this is over then we will see about the pani puri pani dispenser with three different pani lar for that i will be opening uh, this one so for this i used a plc uh, controller right that that one with the arduino this one with the uh, plc because uh, even for the purpose of integrating i chose this way okay i can choose i i, I would have chosen uh, any one either plc or uh, arduino but uh, since uh, i thought of uh, conduct, uh, running a uh, session on both uh, plc and uh, arduino uh, i i want to use both the technologies uh, in this project okay so three stations here there are three tanks uh here uh, one uh, may be for the uh, normal pani one may be for the sweet pani and one for the kara or spicy pani so the seller uh, will be giving you five five or six uh, pani puris uh, in a plate so after uh, ha having it with you you can choose a, you can choose any one of these three maybe for two puris you can ha you can have it uh, with a normal pani you can eat uh, with uh, sweet pani two puris uh, one puri or two puris maybe with uh, spicy pani something like that something like that right again okay, the working principle wise uh, 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 there is no difference between the what i described and discussed what we saw in the first uh, uh, the the three station pani puri no working principle wise all are same but uh, here there are three tanks so three different ponies uh, are possible here so uh, let us see the uh, design stages so these are the 3d printed items so i use 3d printer also so this is the ring for uh, uh, keeping the plate so this is for the collection cup so initially it is made out of sheet metal then painted then uh, necessary is, uh, uh, special stickers uh, were fixed actually right so some more uh, uh, developments were made uh, yeah one more thing i forgot to tell you here i put uh, there also it was there here there are three leds on the top at the top thing is if the pani is not there in the container this will glow so this is the indication that uh, pani uh, that is a tank is empty or the container is empty so the the seller uh, should uh, fill the necessary pani so, so maybe this may be for the pani 1 this may be for the pani 2 this may be for the pani 2 pani 3 the ne next one the same kind of uh, uh, indicators i put in the even in the uh, three station uh, pani winding also and uh, here uh, i put uh, i inserted uh, i put two more two buttons actually actually single button is sufficient but uh, i put uh, i put three two buttons here uh, it is mainly for uh, uh, for uh, st uh, stirring purpose 
okay because uh, the pani the real pani puri pani will be having some uh, masalas uh, some granules will be there you know so suppose uh, if the setup is idle for some time the granules or the heavy particles uh, will be settled at the down so the uh, while dispensing those things uh, will not uh, mix with the water or mix with the pani so that that is why so after giving uh, the uh, five or six pani puri pani puris uh, in a plate so he will be pressing for about uh, 10 seconds so that means uh, the pani will be mixed so uh, nothing will be settled down so uh, the you will get uh, the all the the necessary ingredients while dispensing okay same kind of switch is provided even on the on that version okay, three station uh, uh, version also so this is the back side of the back door and uh, the doors are uh, fitted fixed with a magnetic catch now you see this is the sweet pani this is the normal pani this is the spicy pani yes you see the same setup you see the same set setup right ready dispensing move hand uh, different views and i explained about those things already okay so these are the rings uh, some buttons uh, were made in uh, a 3d printer these are also for aesthetic purpose uh, i made some buttons uh, uh, in my 3d using my 3d printer so three containers this is the plc board i use three different plc board because uh, 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 you suppose if one uh, got struck other two also will struck so that should not happen that is why i used an individual plc board for each uh, container or each uh, type of pony so you see as i said earlier for this demonstration purpose i filled plain water only you have to assume this is uh, maybe normal pony this may be uh, sweet pony this may be spicy pony right but now for the demonstration purpose i used plain water now let us see in action so three different the green led is on now it is ready for dispensing uh, now let me let me show you the uh, machine in action so i am taking a cup we see the indicator now so uh, i it is i assume this cup plastic cup as a puri so liquid is filled the second one maybe the normal pani so sensed start dispensing then move hand you have to move the hand then only it is ready for the next operation so you see the liquid the third spicy pani inserted so start dispensing you have to move the hand okay move hand so that's it uh i'll be using uh, uh, i i i want uh, i want to dispense uh, two thing two at a time even three things also simultaneously can be, can also be operated that means three persons can take uh, can use this machine simultaneously at a time right so this is how uh, uh, we 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 did it actually right this is the plc program for this particular setup this is a CLC, uh, uh, plc program for that so as i said uh, there are two machines four technologies two machines uh, the three station pani puri pani dispenser but a single pani only will be dispensing but the first one three different panis you can get right It's, of course it is also having a three station but uh, uh, each one is unique for one particular pani so as i said 
I integrated, uh, I used the SOLIDWORKS, I showed you how I used the SOLIDWORKS, I showed you how I used, made use of the 3D printing and uh, for the uh, 3 station I used Arduino, for the 3 different pony I used PLC. Okay, so that is uh, for this uh, uh, final session of uh, my uh, session on all the three that is uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS, PLC and Arduino. So now in these 21 days through the three parallel different parallel sessions I covered some portion not all I just covered only some. Okay. So, because each and every topic is a version, right? What I know, whether it is a SOLIDWORKS or a PLC or a Arduino or 3D, uh, 3D printing, so I know a little bit about all these things, but uh, I just uh, wanted to share my experience and my exposure on those topics to you people. Uh, incidentally, we are all on lockdown period, so I just want to, I wanted to utilize that uh, lockdown period, uh, uh, something uh, to be useful to me and to useful to you also. So, so in this 21 days, I covered uh, solid somehow some portion of uh, SolidWorks, PLC, Arduino, 3D printing, and in one or two sessions, I covered uh, injection about I I, I taught about uh, injection molding also that comes under SolidWorks, the 3D printing and the injection molding both are coming under the SolidWorks actually. Okay, so uh, I already told you to summarize. Uh, see. I learnt SOLIDWORKS, PLC, Arduino, 3D printing and injection molding to develop product, not for pure academics alone, not for pure academic purpose alone. Okay, I want, I, I wanted to uh, use these things uh, beyond uh, the theory. I, I did it actually. I developed many products. I showed uh, some of my products, not all, some products only I showed in these uh, 21 days uh, sessions. Uh, the, the three parallel sessions I made, you know, I conducted, you know, the SOLIDWORKS PLC you know. So, I showed only some products that I developed. Still, there are many. Uh, uh, that's all uh, for this uh, today. Uh, not only for today, I think uh, this is the final day, uh, you know. So, I really thank all of you for your uh, kind patience and uh, probably uh, 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 I may, I'm, uh, I, I don't know whether I have done my uh, job uh, up to your expectation or not, I do not know. Uh, of course, uh, I wanted to do something, uh, to, uh, something to be useful to some of you at least. Okay, I hope uh, at least some of you would have uh, uh, obtained uh, some information, gained some knowledge through my 21 day lockdown period sessions. I thank uh, all my supporters and well wishes for their encouragement uh, in uh, organizing the three parallel sessions on SOLIDWORKS, PLC and Arduino in YouTube sessions on the above three topics. Thank you so much. We will meet once again in uh, any one of the uh, topics uh, uh, in future, right? Maybe after some time I will be, I may be organizing uh, some more uh, sessions on some other topics. Okay, we will join uh, once again. Thank you so much. All the best to all of you. Thank you.